Okay, let's have a look here. Um, okay, so for 176, um, in the right out the formal definition. So what this means is that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta greater than zero, such that um, for all uh, such that I'll just say absolute x minus a uh, less than delta then um, fx minus n will be less than epsilon so meaning that for any arbitrary epsilon, there exists a delta, so that as long as the x is no more than delta away from a, then fx will be no more than epsilon away from n. Likewise for 177, for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta greater than zero, such that such that if um, t is less than delta away from b, then g will be less than epsilon away from m. 178, same deal. For all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta more than zero, such that if uh, x minus c is less than delta, then hx minus l will be less than epsilon. 179 for all epsilon. Well, it's the same thing. Check the answers here. Near the end. Seventy six. Uh, Seventy seven. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Oh, do I really need to say the more than zero? I guess so. Because I don't want T to equal B. Ugh, okay. For some reason I don't remember the more than zero. Well, it's been a while since I studied this. Mm, okay. Anyways, the following graph of the function fx satisfies that. In the following exercise, determine a value of delta that satisfies each statement. Oh, okay. So I need to go back here. I can. Let's. Uh, Copy this so okay. Right. Um we want to find the delta basically. So we want to make sure that we're within one and uh, we're around two. So there's two at two. So if we want to be uh, 
put in one. Oh, it's just... yeah, looking looking pretty small. Um, at least on this side. So we we want some like uh, we'd want some interval like here. So that's not going to be pretty big. So I'm just going to be over conservative and say zero point one. And then the next one we only want to be a half away. That's really small. I'm, I'm going to be ridiculously conservative here and say uh, 0 0.05 then. I wonder what they have at the back. Question 181 should be there. 181. Yeah, 0.25. Oh, okay. So, I, yeah, I was being very conservative. Um, yeah, very conservative. But it doesn't matter because it satisfies the requirement. I certainly will be within one if I make sure the x is within 0.1 of two. Uh, if I knew this function here, I could actually calculate it, but I can't, so that's okay. Okay, let's see the next one. Um, the following graph, the function f satisfies the limit. 3 is minus 1. Okay. Let's try to be a bit more precise if we can this time. Let's get the next one as well. Okay, so we want a uh, limit of a tree is minus one. So let me just put that in. Okay, and we want to be um, fx minus minus one. Hmm. But oh yeah, sorry, tree. Yeah, so we want to be within tree, so that uh, we're not more than one away from the the limit. Okay, so okay, that kind of roughly lines up there and there. So it really, really looks like. The delta could be one, but if I want to play conservative, I'll be zero point ninety just to be conservative about it. We're allowed to do that. Um, but because we've made it wider, technically, we could still use zero point nine, although bigger values would work. EG. So let's have a look here. Um, looks like two. So we could round it down a little bit and say 1.9. I'm sure the answer at the back probably says two. Yeah, yeah, it does say two. Yeah, yeah. 
But since I'm reading off from a graph, I'll play the conservative value. Okay, the following graph, the function f satisfies this limit x goes to 3 of fx equals 2. Limit x goes to 3 will give you 2. And the following exercise for each value of epsilon, find the delta. Okay, so we want to be within 1.5 so that would be like here and here so that looks like roughly uh, a half so if I want to be conservative again I could go with 0 0.4 and then 3 is more generous So within three of two, so that would be five. Looks like it's gone to four. And uh, minus one. So it's going to two. Two to three, three to four. That looks like one. So again, I'll play conservative and go 0 0.9. Okay, let's check the answer. Or 185 at least. Yeah. Any choose any any value less than or equal to one will do the job they're saying. So my point nine will definitely do the job then. Okay. Um, then a calculator question just thrown in. In the following exercise, use a graph and calculator to find a delta such that the statements hold true. So we want to make the graph here. Okay, well, uh, maybe we'll we'll finish on that one. And that gives us a fresh page to start on next time. 187. Get a graph going. Um, so we we'll want to graph oh we want to find the delta yeah okay so if we compare what we have here it's like the limit is a half the epsilon is 0 0.1 the function is sine 2x the a is pi over 12. So what they're saying is the limit as x tends to pi over 12 of sine 2x equals a half. Um, let's get that graph of sine 2x. near pi over 12, um, pi over 12 is about 0 0.26, so it's around about here, maybe I should um, mark it in, um, okay, and then I should mark in Okay, and then um, we want to be 0 0.1 away. So we'll have y equals a half plus 0 0.1, and then minus, okay, so Uh, zoom in. Uh, 
Okay. So uh, we're looking at wanting to be like. Whoop. here and here so that would be this interval here <sighs> that's about it's about 0 0.21 so we'll say 0 0.22 Zero point three two zero point zero four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna say looking like should have put in more ticks. The delta should be I'll go with zero point four. Um unfortunately it's even so i don't have the answer at the back but what i could do actually because it's monotonic here i could uh sub in 0.4 so let's see what we get if i type in sine of 2 times x and x is pi over 12 and then plus or minus 0.4 let's see what two answers i get sine of 2 times pi over over 12 plus 0 0.4 um, oh did I mean 0.04 I said 0.4 didn't I that's 0.21 yeah 0.04 that's what I meant sorry 0.04 okay so that's 0 0.568 on the upper side and then 0 0.429 at the lower side um would that keep me within 0 0.1 of 0 0.5 this is less than 0 0.6 so we're good and this is more than 0.4 so we're good so yeah that just about keeps us within the range we need so yeah 0.04 seems to be a value that will do the job here to get us within 0.1 of the limit so yeah okay that's fine all right i think that's good uh point to wrap it up there because then that leaves us a fresh page to begin with on the next time and uh just one page of questions left so we've been we're nearly finished this chapter. That is great. That is great. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll wrap it up there for today, and I'll see you next time.